Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 116 verses 10 to 19. And here's God's word. Psalm 116. What shall I render to the Lord? I believed even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Psalm 116 verses 10 to 19. And here's my poem that is extracted from those uh, inspired by those verse. I lift up my life to you, O Lord. O Lord, you have done so much for me all this time. You have pulled me out of the pit and saved my life. How can I show you gratitude for all you've done? You provided me a clean slate when you gave us your son. You formed and watched me in my mother's womb and considered me precious the apple of your eyes. Help me to commit to you without any compromises. Give me the courage to resist evil. Sorry, tell me how I can accept and look up to your promises. Give me the courage to resist evil and walk in freedom. Help me to keep my eyes focused on your kingdom. O oh Lord, I am your servant. Show me how to honor you. Cleanse me from all sinfulness so I can walk in truth. Lead me to a life of willingness to suffer all adversities. O oh Lord, forgive me for fa failing to live up to your ideals. Grant me mercy to be the person you created me to be. Deliver me from all unrighteousness and grant me mercy. How can I truly live in your grace and steadfast love? I praise and thank you for everything else that I have. Reflection. Since we know there is nothing we can repay God for all the things he has done for us, why is it still important to ponder on how we can glorify and praise him daily for all that we possess? A, thanks, a thankful heart is... Um, a way of worshiping the Lord even though we know that uh, there is nothing we can give back to him um, because everything comes from him and everything is supposed to give him praise so I think that um, remembering all the things that he has done for us and keeping our eyes on him is a very important aspect of a Christian life because we can so easily forget what, um, how to worship Him in thanksgiving with everything that happens in our lives. Uh, we are surrounded by so much conflict, war, um, pandemic, and all kinds of uh, suffering and busyness that we forget that it is important for us to ponder on the things that we have been given and 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 keep on that focus that God loves us so much that he even gave his only son to cleanse us from sin so i think that when we ponder on these things that he has done for us we will walk in the Spirit. We will follow what the Spirit leads us to do, which is to give Him praise and glory for everything. So, thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com 
for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope that you will ponder on the goodness of the Lord each and every moment of your life so that you will never forget that tea is the source of everything. Thanks for watching.